I am pleased to convey my warmest greetings to the Government of India on hosting the Asian Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in collaboration with the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction. This important conference will set the direction for implementation of the Sendai framework for disaster risk reduction over the next 14 years. The adoption of the Sendai framework marked a crucial contribution to the articulation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. With the subsequent agreement on the Addis Ababa Action Agenda, Paris Agreement on Climate Change, and last month, the new Urban Agenda, the world now has the tools and guidance required to achieve sustainable development, eradicate poverty, and build peaceful societies that leave no one behind. The journey from Sendai continues here in Delhi, where the outcomes of your efforts will influence the disaster risk reduction agenda, not just in Asia, but in the world at large. Asia faces formidable challenges in managing disaster risk. Those include poverty, environmental deterioration, seismic risk, climate change, and population growth in especially vulnerable areas. Yet Asia has also achieved remarkable progress in facing these threats by systematically improving policies, investing in institutions, and enhancing national capacities. Perhaps the most important driver of disaster risk is weak disaster risk governance. Clear vision, plans, competence, guidance, and coordination are essential. Many of you are already taking steps to ensure that your national disaster management agencies are focused not just on managing disasters, but also managing the risk which can lead to those disasters. I'm confident that this conference will bring further improvements in your already considerable efforts to reduce disaster losses across the region. I wish you every success. The Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. Mr. Prime Minister, Ministers, Ambassadors, Distinguished Delegates, this is the first Asian Ministerial Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction since the UN World Conference hosted by Japan in March last year when the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction was adopted. The Sendai Framework emphasizes the importance of moving, as we've heard, from managing disasters to managing disaster risk if we are to achieve substantial reductions in disaster losses. In this region, many countries have integrated disaster risk reduction into their overall development planning, and there's a growing understanding of the importance of a risk-sensitive approach to major infrastructure investments in both the private sector and the public sectors. In order to achieve a substantial reduction in disaster losses by 2030, there is a clear need to build on Asia's success in reducing mortality from floods and storms in particular. And as we look towards the deadline of 2020 for the delivery of substantial increases in national and local plans for reducing disaster risk, we must embrace other elements of the 2030 development agenda. There's a clear opportunity to avoid duplication of effort by ensuring that plans for climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction complement each other and make the best use of available resources. Success in building sustainable cities will help reduce disaster losses, and Asia is already home to 53% of the world's urban population. Well-managed, hazard-resistant cities offer great opportunities for economic development and access to basic services, including health and education. The Sendai framework recognizes the importance of regional platforms such as this and its supporting mechanisms or mechanism, the ISDR Asia Partnership. This regional collaboration is absolutely vital for strengthening disaster risk governance, which of course is a key Sendai priority. Understanding disaster risk is also vital. We need policies and practice that take account of disaster risk in all its dimensions of vulnerability, capacity, and exposure of persons and assets. In summary, these and other priorities for action of the Sendai framework and delivering on those priorities uh, is what has brought us here this week at this critical meeting. On behalf of UNISDR, I want to very sincerely thank the host government of India for its hospitality and for making this important gathering possible. The expected outcomes of the conference are an Asia regional plan for implementation of the Sendai framework, 
Second, a political declaration that reiterates the commitments of governments to disaster risk reduction and also fundamentally important stakeholder action statements containing various initiatives to reduce disaster risk. These outcomes will reaffirm the region's leadership on disaster risk management and provide important input to the global platform for disaster risk reduction, will be, which will be hosted by the Government of Mexico in May of next year. I very much look forward to engaging with many of you in the coming days on this exciting agenda and also in the months ahead. And I want to thank you for your commitment, your attention, and wish us all a very successful conference. Thank you very much. Donald Trump has a terrible record on LGBT rights. And this election will determine whether we continue the progress we've made or let it be ripped away. We know Trump has promised he'll appoint Supreme Court justices who will overturn marriage equality.